Hello friends and family of you too. Well, we got something a little different we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you three RVs for under $6,000. So, uh, of course they're all used now, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what to look for when looking at a used RV. I uh, won't be able to cover 100% of, uh, of the ground of, of what to look for because I am gonna show you three RVs. So uh, just want to kind of give you an idea of what I like to look for when I'm looking at them. But uh, so anyway, let's get started with it. Okay, as I said, I'm going to go over three RVs that are under $6,000. And uh, this first one is a Kiwi 2, I guess is what they call it. T-O-O -O by Jayco. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of walk around here and see if I see anything that stands out to me as to what I like to look for. I do like the aerodynamic design of the front of this as opposed to the squared off flat front. And uh, I noticed the seals on the outside of this RV look to be in pretty good condition and they look like they've actually had some silicone added over at one time. I do not see any separation from the wall from the uh, the side here, so that looks good. This one actually has an auxiliary shower outside, which is good to wash off a dog or something like that. But uh, this one also actually has a slide. And uh, what I wanna look for here is just to check, see if these seals look good and tied against here uh, to keep water from getting inside. But uh, once I get inside, I'm going to also look for any indication. It looks like anything may have happened to uh, kind of cause an issue. But uh, everything on the outside is looking pretty good. This does have a dual axle. And uh, the tread on these tires do look good. So I would say they're probably low mileage. But it would not hurt to actually check and see what the date is on those tires. You can also see that somebody at some point has added some silicone around the, the base here. And that could either be preventive or it could be a sign of trouble inside. So when I get inside, I'm going to definitely want to check and make sure that that's okay in that area. But uh, I can see from out here that it uh, looks like the roof, usually the roof edge right along where that roof line is usually that's where you'll see it actually tearing that's the first place i always see damage on roofs and uh i would still want to get up on a ladder and take a look at it but from down here it looks like it's in pretty fair condition so anyway let's uh let's go inside and see what's going on okay it is a one step to get inside but it is two door. There's a door uh, in the bedroom area. And this one here leads into the living room kitchen area. And you can see that it's got a pretty decent sized kitchen to it. Got a over under refrigerator. Got a uh, three burner stove. And looks like pretty decent size oven to it. And uh, there's not much cabinetry above. But it does have area that you could store some food items along on this rail now one of the first places i like to look for any kind of water damage is up in the corner you can see up here it feels very firm so that's a good sign i do like to see that i'm going to do that on both both corners check and make sure that it's stiff and it is the other area that I like to look for is under the kitchen sink. Check and make sure that the floor under the cabinet is not uh, damaged. So I'm going to go into the bathroom and show you where else I like to check. Right by the toilet, take your foot and press all around the toilet just to see if you feel any soft spots. And of course you want to do that around the shower as well this unit is very clean so uh, I can't help but wonder if maybe it was stored under uh, under a cover this unit also has a skylight into the shower which I like that so it gives you extra headroom and it does have a medicine cabinet it's got a uh, cabinet down below for uh, extra storage you got a towel bar here to put your towel on 
in the in the bathroom. Got a wardrobe right here in the hallway with uh, plenty of room for storage of your clothing. And it's got a bed. I'm gonna check this mattress. I would say somebody upgraded this mattress. I don't believe that is a factory mattress. Now again, I'm going to look around this doorway and check to see if the floor is soft around this door. And I'm also going to go, there's some cabinets in here. And I do see where some previous damage was done up in, in this cabinet from some roof damage. So I would have that looked at before, uh, before purchase. And you can see it back here inside this cabinet as well. One thing I would advise people, if you smoke or if you do not have a good sense of smell, always take somebody with you shopping for a used RV. Take someone with you that does have a good sniffer on them. And that way they can tell you if they smell mold or mildew. So uh, anyway, the uh, roof, roof can be addressed. Take care of any situations going on there. But uh, this RV has a pretty nice layout. Like I said, it does have a slide out. So anyway, let's go check out the next model. Okay, this model is called a Cherokee Light. And it is a 1.8DD. And it is also a dual axle. This is a fairly smaller RV, but I'm gonna tell you, it's actually in pretty good shape. I looked it over just a little bit before I started this video. So uh, to me, this is the bargain of the three I'm gonna show you, but everybody's different as to what their needs are. This RV is $4,500. The RV I just got through showing you is $6,000. So uh, we've got uh, two steps to get in. This also has a dual axle and both tires on both sides do appear to be in pretty good shape with good tread. You do have a, uh, a couch that slides out into uh, making a small bed. And you've got a small size kitchen here. And you've also got a dinette. So I'm gonna sit on the, uh, the couch does have fairly decent cushion to it not too bad and the dinette's very comfortable and it does have a bed in here let me check and see how it feels okay you will need to add a uh, mattress to this it does not have a uh, to me that's just not not a, a functional mattress but for 4500 this is this is okay and again, I'm gonna check in the corner of the RV. Go to each corner of the RV and check to see if there's any discoloration up on the ceiling. See if there's any condition issues that you see. This is inside the bathroom and it does appear to have an old style Max Air fan. So that's pretty cool. So uh, here's your shower and here's the toilet. And it's got ducted floor uh, for your HVAC. It's got, a, of course, a sink outside the bathroom and a couple of cabinet doors and a uh, door for storage, like a medicine cabinet. I hate that I'm having to rush through there, through these, but I am wanting to show you three of them for six thousand bucks. So, gonna limit me with my time today a little bit. But uh, yeah, this RV would suit my needs well. And of course, like I said, everybody's different. Some people would want a larger RV, but I would like a RV about this size because it'd be easy to get it around, pull it anywhere with just about any size vehicle. And usually on smaller RVs like this, they are a single axle. I do like it, the fact that it has a dual axle. To me, that, that gives you a little more stability in your ride. And also if you have a blowout, you still have a tire on that side. So everything looks good as far as uh, the ceiling goes. So got plenty of storage in here. Doesn't look like there's any damages in here from, from the sink. And it does have an oven 
with a three burner stove top. So it's got everything you could need in here. You just need to add a TV. All right, so again, this, uh, this model is $4,500 and it is a 18DD Cherokee light. So let's go to the next one. Okay, this uh, RV, I'm just gonna call it like it is. It needs a bath, but they just got it in. It has not been cleaned up yet. It is a Salem LE and uh, you can tell by walking around this thing that it's not been cleaned in a while, but it does have a slide out. It is a dual axle. And I'm kind of looking for any sealing, sealant issues going on. I would suggest if I bought this definitely to reseal this uh, on all the way around that you can tell that it needs to be done. I would say that it's probably not been kept up too well as far as most of the sealants are concerned. Okay. It is a two-door model. It also is a dual axle. And the uh, tire tread on this is uh, not too bad, but uh, you may want to check a little closer to see what uh, the date on the tires are. This one does have a two-step entry get up inside here it's got the uh, kitchen in the back side of the uh, RV right as you enter which the thing I like about that is if you are camping that's uh you don't have to drag dirt all the way through your RV to get to your kitchen so now let's see the see if there's damages inside the cabinets actually that looks pretty good that looks real good so I'm I'm glad to see that all right and as I look around to see if there's any kind of damages around this, uh, what we're looking at here, folks, is right around the slide out. I'm looking to see if there's any issues with anything around here that shows me delamination or anything that looks like the sealant is, uh, is broken or anything of that nature. So anyway, let me try to give you an idea of the layout here. What we got is as you come into the door, you've got a uh, dinette here. And uh, the dinette will make into a smaller size bed. And this couch will actually uh, fold out and to make a, a bed as well. So let me kind of let you know how, the, uh, how they seat and feel. Dinette is not too bad. And the couch is not bad either. I do not smell any musty smell, so that is good. I'm also looking inside this cabinet here to see if I see any uh, signs of previous roof leakage. But uh, you can actually hang your TV right here. It's got a uh, stereo system. Got a couple of cabinets here to uh, store you some food. Got a little bit of cabinetry in the kitchen as well kind of show you that got an over and under model uh, refrigerator all right so let's see what we got here in the for the bathroom area you've actually got the sink in the hallway which that works good if somebody's in the actual bathroom somebody else could be out here brushing their teeth washing their hands whatever and you've got a good sized little storage area here this is almost like a hallway and inside the bedroom, you actually have some cabinetry to store more clothing. And I'm looking here to see if I see any signs. And uh, I cannot say whether this is original to the RV or not, but it does not appear to have any damages. But uh, the ceiling in here looks fine. And let's see about this bed. Yes, somebody has changed out the mattress, and this is a very nice mattress, so no problems here. As I said, it is a two-door model, so you can exit the uh, exit the bedroom or exit out through the uh, through the kitchen area. So now let me show you the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. You've got a. It does not have an area over the shower for taller guys but it does have the uh has a toilet in here and it does have a fan above 
Uh, if it were me, I would uh, invest a little bit of money and get a better fan system. Those, uh, those fans right there, those are worthless. They're not worth, uh, I wouldn't give a dollar for a truckload of those. Well, I probably would because I am a guy that likes to make money and sell stuff, but I personally would not want one. All right. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the show of this RV. And the prices I gave you uh, from what the man told me, uh, Johnny is the salesperson here, and he told me 6000 on this one. 6000 on the first one that I showed you and 4500 on the middle RV that I showed you so uh, those prices do include everything in working order and uh, as I said I personally would go all the way through these RVs if you was to choose one here or anywhere else but always look for all of the sealants I'm sure this was not done at the factory somebody done this later on but that kind of thing is what you want to look for and question yourself why is all this sealant on here was this done as a preventive or was this done because something was going wrong so uh, it never hurts to just dig around these things look everywhere you can look inside of here this is the kind of area that they're gonna probably not be concerned with uh, fixing back up if there is some issues so anyway hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit and uh, again I don't work for this company I don't work for I don't work for anybody so uh, I don't have a dog in this fight at all I just wanted to take a little time show y'all what's available out here and uh, let me uh, show you the phone number to call if you have any questions if you're interested in any of these models Okay, this, uh, this one behind me was the last one I showed you. Uh, when I talked to the salesman, I, he told me, he said, this is the hardest time of year to sell an RV. So this is definitely a buyer's market. I'm just gonna tell you like it is because that's, that's what he told me. And I fully understand why. You know, this is not the time of year anybody really wants to go camping. So with that being said, it's hard for them to sell a lot of RVs. So if you have been thinking about buying a new one, used one, whatever, I highly suggest really thinking about getting on it now. One other reason why it comes in handy is you have the 2017 models out and the 2018 models. Right now, just in case you're watching this video later on down the road, it's right at the end of November, 1st of December. So this is the time of year all the way up till about February that it's really hard to sell RVs. So this is the time if you are thinking about buying one, I highly, highly suggest take it into deep consideration. Check around, see who's got the best deal. Join every web forum you can. Read up about as many different viewpoints as you can from other people that have owned them. That way you get an idea of what they had a problem with. Anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all watching today. I hope y'all have a great day. Hit the like and subscribe if you hadn't done that already. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.